Hi everyone, welcome to System Test 6 of the Apollo XP95 and Discovery System. Now we've still got the same devices as the last system test, as you can see. Uh, I have added one device to the system and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you that now. And that is the Apollo uh, Loop Powered Beacon. So as you can see, uh, I've got a beacon on the system, so uh, it looks pretty cool. And it does um, sync up with the... Uh, uh, sound of beacon base, so it does sync up with the beacon on this sound of base. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to try to do some programming uh, on this beacon at some point. Uh, but yeah, so in this video we're going to be testing uh, the devices on this shelf here. So the, I have managed to... Um, um, I've, I've put these devices in zone 2. So these devices, so these detectors are on zone 2 and the call points. And then this shelf uh, is on zone 1. So these devices are on zone 1 and then these devices are on uh, zone 2 so uh, yeah so we'll be testing zone 2 today so uh, let's put the panel on um, so there we go so let's start with the detectors and we'll test the call points uh, last so uh, yeah we'll start with the uh, discovery uh, optical so let's give that a quick test there we go see if that goes off Should go off quite quickly. There we go. So there we go. So I have also named the, the devices on the zones as well. So this is a, this is discovery. Uh, optical two because I only have because I have uh, two optical discoveries. So uh, this one is discovery optical two, and then this one is discovery optical one. So uh, yeah, so that one's activated. So um, probably gonna um, take it off this base and blow out of it. Uh, blow out of it. So uh, let's do that now. So we'll just take that off off the base. Let's come up with a, a fault. We can put this back on. Give it on, there we go. And let's uh, reset the panel. Uh, then we're going to test the uh, Apollo Terry detector. So let's give that a quick uh, test of the smoke saber. So uh, here we go. Let's see if that goes off. There we go. There we go. So uh, we've got Terry Optical that's that triggered, uh, red, red LED, uh, which take off the base as well. There we go. So let's give that a reset. Uh, let's test the uh, XP95 multi sensor. We'll test the uh, uh, smoke element and the heat element of the multi sensor. So we'll start with the uh, smoke element. So let's give that a uh, quick test of the smoke saber. So try that. This one usually takes a little bit longer to activate. Um, we'll see if it activates uh, quickly or not. Uh, it might need a bit more. We'll see if it goes off. Uh, let's try and uh, give it some more, maybe. Let's give it a little bit more. Let's try that. Come up pre alarm. Okay, I'll see if that goes off in a second. Uh, 
there we go, uh, good, uh, got a good tone hold, um, let's now uh, take it off and we'll uh, reset it and then uh, test the heat element of the multi-sensor, so uh, let's give it a quick uh, clear it out. And let's uh, put it back on the base and then we'll give it a test with the hairdryer. Let's reset the panel. And I do have a hairdryer, so we're going to give it a quick uh, test of, the, test of uh, with the hairdryer. So, we'll test the heat element of the multi sensor. So, um, let's get the hairdryer and then we're going to. Give it a quick test, so uh, yeah, uh, here we go. Right, it seems to now we're uh, triggered finally, now it took forever. Uh, here we go. Now that did take forever to um, trigger this multi sensor, the exponential for multi sensor, so um, I might. Uh, uh, sort out the um, sensitivity of it because it uh, probably seems to be on the um, uh, uh, high sensitivity or something so that's why it didn't go off um, uh, quickly or anything so uh, yeah I might I may change the sensitivity of the X95 motor sensor so uh, it goes off a little bit quicker so uh, yeah that's uh, I think we'll uh, blow it out for a second uh, let's take off the base and uh, blow it off and uh, cool down for a second because it is really hot so uh, I'll probably leave off the base right, I'm going to leave off the um, off the base for a little bit uh, to the end of the system test so we'll test the uh, core points now so let's reset the panel uh, so let's test the uh, core points so let's start with the uh, XP95 call point. So here we go, let's test the XP95 call point. Uh, there we go, so as you can see the red LED on the XP95 call point, so uh, it has illuminated, so let's give it, let's uh, reset the call point and reset the panel. There we go. So let's uh, reset the uh, panel, give it a reset. Uh, it's come out of fault because the uh, this is off its space, so um, I'm just going to let it cool down for a little bit longer because it's still a bit very warm. Uh, but then to finish off the test, we will test the um, Intelli Apollo Intelligent Core Point. Uh, 
There we go. So discovery, uh, MCP. Uh, let's give that a uh, reset the call point. And reset the panel. There we go. So the call point is reset. So let's reset the panel. Okay, there we go. And uh, to think, finish off the test, we will uh, do a lamp test uh, on the panel. So let's do a quick lamp test. Make sure all the zone lights are working. And there we go. That is going to be system test. Uh, that'll be that'll be it for system test six of the um, Apollo XP95 and Discovery system. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the system test. Uh, probably next time. Uh, we'll test uh, the device on zone 1, so I uh, hope you guys look forward to that. So that's going to be it for the system test, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time for system test 7. That's it, and bye guys. Mm -hmm.